Hello and welcome back to Steins Gate Zero. This time, last time, we are in the Future Gadgets Lab, and so for, for some reason, Oakface was not here. You're coming to the Future Gadgets Lab. Ooh, everyone's here. Yuki, Amane, the new waifu for Taru, I guess. Suza has mom, and Suza's here, Mahiru's here, Okabe's here, Daru's here. All the interesting stuff. Last time we saw some of Suza's memories as she came back to the past last time. And most interestingly, there's a girl with her. Bright red hair. Almost the same shade as Kurisu too, if not the same shade. I also had a thought. So, I was I mentioned this like a long time ago that this oh, this seems like a monitor almost. You can see like the little webcam thing up there. You can see wires going into it. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if the multiple perspectives aspect of all this, the, um, you know, the, like, how we're looking from Suzuha's point of view, we saw, uh, Fukaba's point of view, if I'm remembering her name right, it might be wrong now. Uh, we saw Maho's point of view, we've seen Okabe's point of view, which was interesting. It's interesting seeing this from different points of view, because I'm, because that's not how the first Steins Gate visual novel went. So, a bit weird. And so, it makes me wonder if this... If this, like, um, this monitor has anything to do with that. Because I, I don't know how or what in context the story could possibly have it be done. But I could see trying to, like, because you have the whole thing about digitizing memories, right? That you could maybe watch someone's memories through a monitor, maybe? And maybe that's why we're seeing multiple... I don't, it's hard to... It's confusing at this point, at the very least. Oh my. Okay, because I, I did go into this expecting to basically do this just from Okabe's perspective. Oh, yeah. It has. When she heard his voice, she uh, ground her teeth a little. She can't come out now. Oh, and we switch over to Okabe's perspective. Okay, I didn't think it would switch over so soon. I could have went another 15 seconds last episode. My bad. It's just all these scenes have a tendency to be like 30 minutes or 40 minutes or something along those lines. What did you say? You're not gonna tell me you want to go, are you? <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. I'm guessing he told her about the future sketch slam. Standing in the middle of Ikepu girl with a smartphone in one hand, staring up at the sky. I've been trying to talk to the Amadeus Kurisu as much as possible lately. Sometimes I would contact her, sometimes Kurisu would contact me. I didn't feel any different than having a friend who lived in the real world. Talking on a smartphone in a crowded place like this was a little embarrassing, but I told myself that compared to things I used to do, it was nothing. I chose some harmless topics for our discussion, but it still reminded me so much of talking to the old Creasy that sometimes I forgot myself. I'd done that just now and had accidentally told her about the lab. She had seized on it. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. No, 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 no. Never. Grisu had been part of the lab in the Alpha World line. In this world line, she died before ever becoming a lab member. Of course, she'd never even known where it was, even. I seemed to have the wrong idea, so... Let me straighten you out. I call it a lab, but it's really not. It's just... It's just a group of, uh, just a group of people messing around. And Suzuha was living there right now, and Dara spent a lot of time there. They found about uh, if they found about um, they found out about Kurisu, things could get complicated. Oh, it's nothing. Huh. 
That's why I'm out here early on a Sunday morning. Taking you around, Ikebuguro. 10 a.m. And at this hour, the area, uh, the area in front of Ikebuguro Station was crowded. It's going to get even more crowded. It's closer to noon. I was willing to take you to Maiden's Road if I had to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to guess that's like a red light district or something. There's a whole world out there you know nothing about. Of course you did. <laughs> Are you really interested? <laughs><笑>とにかく今日はあんたのラボに連れて行ってよ。私に話して聞かせた以上責任を取りなさい。<laughs> And then she hung up. Ugh, it's like that was her own personal taxi service. Grisu couldn't get around on her own, so there's no getting around that, but... Sheesh. She's so selfish. She didn't seem to think very highly of me. At this rate, she might start treating me worse than a servant. The real Grisu was one thing, or no, maybe it wasn't. But being treated that way by the artificial Grisu was incredibly humiliating. Wouldn't it be a humiliation of, for all of humanity, even? Maybe... <sighs> Maybe I should do something about this. As I mumble to myself. <laughs> Mayuri called out to me. She was carrying a lot of bags. It was probably materials for, for, uh, for one of her costumes. <laughs> Hmm? Oh, um, that was a friend from my class at college. No, I don't have any plans for today. Are you going to work, Mayuri? Huh. The lab. Is this good timing or bad timing? そうだ。オカリンも久しぶりに一緒に行かない。ゆきさんの手料理も食べられるよ。それとね、マユシーも頑張って作る予定なのです。どう it's really hard to turn it down after something like that. In the end, I went with her. <laughs> you look really happy. <laughs> Mari had been smiling the whole time, but I was the opposite. The minute I got here, I was so nervous. Felt like I was about to throw up. I didn't really want to see Suzaha. Huh? Oh! Okabe jane ka! Yeah. The door to the Brontoon workshop on the first floor was opened, and out came the uh, building's owner, Yugo Tenoji. Hey there. Ah, T-shirt一枚で寒くないですか？Hmm. I've been living in the lab. I've given him a nickname, Mr. Braun. Been a long time since I've seen him. Okabe, その様子じゃちゃんと大学生やってるみたいじゃねえか。Thanks. I'm the thing of it. How are we handling the rent? I asked Mayuri instead of him. I used to give it directly to Noji, but... I see. This man... Was he a rounder in this world line, too? Him. 
How did things go with Grisu after that? Oh. I want to talk to Maho too. <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious, but um. Oh, can we do something about her? I just. I, I, sorry, I want to be like that. Can we do something about her mouth? Grisu? She can be really nasty. Yeah, she's what you call a tsundere. A tsundere? I don't know what that is, but are you sure you didn't just tick her off? Grisu does not suffer fools gladly. <laughs> oh, and then she it just ends. How? Feels rude. So can I just call her? No, nothing happens. Okay. He's talking about that, but whatever. There's no way I could just ask him. Couldn't help but be wary of him. That's why I started to put, uh, put some distance between us. Nothing else I avoided trying to do. Uh, interact with him. Jenny, I'm not. So Noji saw that I uh, had gone silent and went back inside. Mari looked over to me with a weird expression. Let's just go. Snoji didn't matter. Matter was. Why was I here? Did I feel something needed to change? Do I really want to show Kreese the lab? Went up the stairs, still unsure of the answer. Da, da, da. Mary went in first. I peeked inside the room. Da, 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 da. Daru and Yuki were in there. Her eyes went wide when they saw me. Oh, yeah. It has. I quickly scanned the room. There's no sign of Suzaha. Part of me was a little relieved. Can I, uh, come in? That's true, I guess. I don't think I can call Krisu right now. I found my ears to the lab and tried to relax my legs by sitting on the couch, but I didn't feel relaxed at all. I felt like my skin was crawling. I glanced over at Yuki. Yuki san! Oh, my looks I, I like how my looks without um her hat and a scarf. Is this not the same thing you were wearing when they talked about this? Okay, I'm whatever. Anime. <laughs> Visual novels. Static portraits without many outfit changes. I don't think it would fit you. Yeah. I heard about Yuki's future from Suzaha too. I still couldn't believe someone this pretty was going to marry. Uh, I could pick up. I could not pick up. I could ignore it. I could. But I'm sort of the. I don't know. I just want to pick up everything. Mm. What the? ran into the development room in the back, clutching my smartphone. You've got a lot of free time, don't you? Of course not. I hadn't even checked with Maho and Dr. Leskin to see if it was okay to tell other people about Amadeus. Risu lowered her voice as well. Sheesh. I sighed and held the smartphone up to my chest, uh, and I spun around once, like I was taking video with my camera. Very true. Very true. That's your first impression. Oh, 
broken it. That wasn't much better. While it was true. <laughs> Is it okay to share her private information like that? <laughs> She'd bite my head off if I did anything like that. Risu paused and smiled. So is this seeing the more sincere side of Krisu that wasn't so soon to uh, Okabe on a regular basis? Who'd be willing to admit all this stuff? Or maybe she just she doesn't she hasn't had the opportunity to interact with people as a computer program, so she's a bit more open and sincere since she can't talk to as many people. Maybe Krisu. Ah, Krisu the Alpha World line she said the same thing. Oh, did she? Oh, okay. Ah, a lot of details. You really... <laughs> no. Suddenly heard girl's voice from under the desk, and I was so surprised I screamed. Who's there? Huh? Is that you, Suza? Was she hiding? But why? Taro, Mayuri, and Yuki heard me scream ran over to see what the problem was. Okari! What happened? What? Who's there? Suzuha-san? Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. Ah-chan. Suzuha looked upset. It's only then I realized who she was hiding from. <laughs> that was a very long thing. I wonder what sort of wrong impression Yuki's going to get that Suza was trying to hide when she came over. Someone had left the TV on and was playing the afternoon news. Suzaha knew no one was watching it, so... Uh, but she uh, used the remote to turn the volume up anyways. She wanted to keep the girls in the shower from hearing us. I could hear Mayuri and Yuki laughing from the shower. Things had gotten really awkward when Yuki had found Suzaha, but Mayuri quickly came up with a plan. At first, her plan was for, uh, for the three of them, including Suzaha, to shower naked together. And hopefully get Yuki and Suzaha more comfortable around each other. <laughs> Why is that a... I don't know. I'm not a girl. And that's definitely not something guys do. That's definitely not something guys do. Oh my goodness. Even in sports, I mean, you don't shower together. Even if it's an open shower, it's like you have your... You have your own little, like, corner that you go in and then you turn on the shower and then you don't look... At, you don't look each other in the eye. You don't look them in the eye. That is against the fucking rules. But Suzaha said that the shower room was too small for three people and refused. <laughs> Suzaha was staring up at the ceiling. <laughs> no! No, it's totally her fault. I would have screamed if she didn't say anything. It's your fault for not telling me about her earlier. I was... well... I... I... I got this new app and I was... trying it out. <laughs> yes, Amadeus Kurisu is a... is an Arogate. 
そういうことなら後で僕のおすすめアプリ教えるよ No, 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 that, that. Thanks. I guess I managed to fool them about how much it is. What do you say? I was a little bit of a mess. My son, I'm sorry for the last time. Why do you need to hide from her, anyways? You've already told her that you're Daru's sister. Hiding just makes you look more suspicious. Susanna tried to avoid Yuki to begin with. Just meeting her father was enough to potentially cause a time paradox, she said. And that chance went up even if she、uh, met her mother. Went up even more if she met her mother. But Yuki had found her long before, and Susanna had been forced to say she was Dara's little sister. Yuki believed it, so why make things any more complicated? So, I don't know. 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 あまり会話しすぎるとボロが出かねない。If you see someone who's just like you, you either hate them or take an interest in them. I bet. And you hear Mani was the latter. 嫌われた方がずっと楽だよ。You just, I don't know, tell her. I don't know, maybe not. Right now, only a few people knew that Suzai was a time traveler. Me, Daru, and Mayuri Ferris. That was all. Interesting to keep Ferris in that conversation. I mean, I guess it might be just a matter of she'd figure out somehow, anyways. Huh? うまくやれるかどうか。自信ない。大丈夫だって。I don't know if you're one to talk, though. I mean, look at how awkward you were.、Uh, you were just with her. ぶ、僕のこと今どうでもいいっしょ。うん。And then the conversation came to a halt, which meant we started thinking about the voices coming from the shower room. Daru opened his mouth. Perhaps he couldn't take it anymore. Huh? Okay, I don't. I know what Nico live streaming is. Nico Nico, that whole thing. Fictional anime called Blood Toon. The animation, originally a manga, was animated last year. Show drew a ton of attention from anime fans, and the main heroine, Saber Ogo, became popular enough to have many figures. This is supposed to be 2010 still, right? I don't know anime that well. If someone can,、um, if someone knows what that's referencing, I, because they tend to reference specific anime, I'm guessing it's a tw-、uh, 2009 anime or something. って言っても主張するんでしょうん。じゃあどうぞ。ずはさい。ダーラさん、フロントピーシーに、プレスヘッドウンズオン。なに、おじさん。I just thinking about how well you got along with your dad. そうかな。Yeah. I was like this in the future, wasn't he? Not that much thinner, <laughs> based on the based on the flashback. Not that much thinner. I can't even imagine Daru being thinner.、Mm. And then the conversation died again. There's a ton of things I need to talk to Suzuha about. That was why I couldn't say a word. It was the same for her. So、there's nothing else to do. Suzaha and I turned back to the TV. The news was still on. Today, Tokyo Ginza, 
フランスのファッションブランドル・パラディのオープニングイベントが行われました As the newscaster spoke, I could see over a hundred women lined up in front of a store. Hewa da ne. Atashi ga mono gokoro tsuita koro ni wa, sude ni konna kouke wa sonzai shi nakata. On the TV, a girl in a pretty outfit was talking to an interviewer. Uraiyama shi na. Kanojo tachi wa, dare mo korosa nak te i shi, dare ni mo korosare nai da ne. Man, Suza has such a miserable existence. No matter the timeline, she always, to be f- she always seems to be the one most fucked over by everything. ただしがそうだった時代はさ、相手が男だろうと女だろうとは、容赦なく殺さなきゃいけなかったんだ。次の瞬間には、自分の命が終わるかもしれない。そんな恐怖が、寝ても覚めても付きまとってた。恐怖
こんなことまだ話すんじゃなかった No No it's it's nothing Fine I sank into the sofa and tried to calm down I know what you want to say How you feel I've gone through so many world lines. I've seen people in other world lines have their fates toyed with by the time machine. I look straight into Suzaha's eyes. I've seen your own tragic end. <laughs> And I've realized. I'm powerless to do anything. Humanity was powerless before the laws of this world. Using the time machine to change the world lines means breaking the rules of the universe. It's not the province of humanity. You could say it's the province of God. If we try, we'll just suffer an even more horrible punishment. That's what I think. So, that's the answer to the Ocarina of the Ocarina. For now, if nothing else. So. Feel free to tell me I'm just running away. そんなことしないよ。Zaha looked up at the ceiling and sighed. That must have been a habit she picked up lately. 続いてのニュースです。厚生労働省はアメリカで猛威を振るっている新型の脳炎ウイルスについて、今のところ日本国内での発症例は報告されていないと発表しました。うん。ただ。この新型脳炎は潜伏期間が長いことからすでに国内に上陸している可能性も否定できないとして。Right, okay. And the last one is Maho. 感染症法に基づき、全国の医療機関に対して新型脳炎対策と感染症発生動向の速やかな調査を指示しました。ここからはお茶の水医科大学の春山倉庫教授にお話を伺います。春山さん、この新型の脳炎というのは、具体的にはどのような症状が出るものなのでしょうか。新型脳炎は、感染力は弱いのですが、潜伏期間が長く、突然発症します。症状としては、幻覚や記憶障害が主ですね。例えば、そうですね。会社で仕事をしていたはずなのに、気がつくと家にいたりですとか会ったこともない人に会った記憶があるというような症例が報告されています。That's odd. It's gotta be important somehow too. あとは実際には発生していない事件が起こった覚えがあるなどといった記憶の混乱も現れているようです。Hmm. Okay.So if Okabe even tries to tell anyone about what's happened. Ooh. I'm pretty sure if he even tries to tell anybody about the time stuff without the proof from like Suzaha and stuff, then maybe they just diagnose him with this. But it is a virus and they, they'd have to be able to find it or not find it. You can diagnose him with the symptoms, but if he doesn't have the virus. ですので、もし国内で感染者が出たとしても、それほど恐れることはないと思いますよ。The porter was still talking, 
but I can hear what she was saying. The information I heard was just that sh The information I just heard was that shocking. A new kind of uh, cephalite uh, encephalitized. Oh god, I don't know how to pronounce that one. I knew the symptoms she was describing. Losing the ability to um, discriminate between dreams and reality. Losing your sense of passage of time. Your memories no longer match those of the people around you. That... That was... It's exactly the same as reading Steiner. I can basically... Uh, I mean, come on! No, 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 I mean, he... Didn't, I mean... No, he doesn't have that. Though maybe it's a virus that makes you... Maybe it's a virus that makes you more capable of... It makes you more capable of that. Because if, if it's a virus, then they... It's still something that you'd be able to detect, like, biologically and whatnot. So... If they know it's a virus, then it still has to be a virus. But that would explain why maybe... Uh, uh, Mayuri's friend was capable of remembering some of these things. She was talking about dreams and whatnots and stuff. Maybe it's not a matter of it all being a delusion. Maybe it's a matter of being able to remember it more correctly. What happens when people get this and they all have the same memories match up with each other? At least in some way, some form. Uh, hmm, that's an interesting little twist in this. I wonder how that's going to develop. And if that's something that started out in America, it's a virus for long incubation time, so that means that virus has to have been around for much longer than even before the world line split between Beta and Alpha. So, that's not something new. That's something that could have happened in the other world line too, so... Interesting. Very, very interesting. Well, I guess with that in mind, um, I'll see you all next time. Drive safely.